Hey guys, it's Bond Circuit One. So um, instead of doing a little plant video today, I'm actually going to be doing an unboxing of a violin that I actually purchased um, from China. Uh, it was made by a man named Mr. Song. Um, it's actually on eBay. It's from the violin shop, if you can see that little sign over there. Um, so yes, it is made in China. So I'm a little uh, I'm a little skeptical about what it's going to sound like and what it's going to look like. But, I mean, from the pictures, it looks pretty nice. So, I'm just going to see how it goes and see how it sounds. So, before we do anything else, I'm just going to come around here. So, then you guys can see me unboxing it. Okay. So, this is the box. Um, the shipping was pretty good. It took, like, like three days uh, to get here. Um, but it took another day for inspection through San Francisco. So... All right, we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and open this. I'm gonna see. Just make sure you guys can see that. I'm gonna come back over here. I don't want you guys to miss anything. Okay, you're good. All right. All right. Inside. Kind of nervous. Um, this is a uh, Baroque violin. Uh, that this style is a little more different compared to the regular violin or the fiddle. It's a little more. Um, it sounds a little more fancier, if, if that makes any sense. It sounds like a little more deeper in sound. It's a little more richer. So I'm hoping that's what it's going to sound like. I'm not too sure. It's just our. Receipt and a shipping address there. Now it comes with a case, comes with a bow, comes with all that good stuff. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we have styrofoam. See that? Styrofoam in here. Styrofoam out. That styrofoam out. Alright. Here we go. Alright, pretty nice case actually. Um, I was thinking it was going to be one of those violin shaped ones. You know, the ones that are like, uh, they look like a little tiny um, guitar case. This is actually squared, so it's actually not bad. Pretty surprised. Um, there are Baroque uh, bows too. There's a special bow for uh, the Baroque violin. It's if you've ever seen it, it's like long, but it's got like a long, uh, like curve on it. It's a, the wood is more like bent than it is straight, like traditional. So, where am I? I'm running this thing. I'm talking too much. Get to the unboxing. Jeez, fine. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Just gonna get rid of this bubble paper here. Oh, I don't like that. I was hoping for some popping noises. Oh, that's, that's sad now. Sad face. Okay, so we're given a nice little case here. Um, not too bad. It smells a little funny. Oh, it smells uh. Oh, maybe it's new. Maybe that's a maybe that's a smell I'm looking for, like a new kind of smell. That's that's not bad. So like a brass clasp there. Zippers. Oh God. Here we go. I'm so freaking excited here. Okay, so I'm just gonna push this up. I'm gonna get everything ready. I wanna make sure you guys get a full view of this thing, cause it's not like a regular violin, guys. Just move it up here. I'm sure, we can all see that. Alrighty, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Oh wow. Okay, I'm going to try to take it out as careful as I can. Um, so, we did just get a regular bow. Let's go ahead and look at that first, before we look at anything else. So, uh, we got a brand new bow. Pretty standard, but 
It's a good bow. Not a Baroque, like I thought it would be. But Baroque uh, bows actually go for around, I'd say about two to three hundred, so this is traditional. I'm fine with that. It's the violin that I wanted, not the bow. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Let's look at this. All right. So let me just unwrap it here. But first, let me just show you. This is a horse uh, scroll, as you can see. And I forgot to mention that this is a, a five-string violin. So we have an E, an A, a D, a G, and then a C, like a cello. So, All right. Sorry, I'm, I'm just going to do this away from you guys real quick. Okay, so just took off the tape. Let's go ahead and unveil this thing. Alrighty, so this is what we got here. As you can see, it is not a typical violin. It's got ridges on it. Um, so, this Baroque style. One of them, anyway. There's many different styles. I love the, the flamed back. It's really nice and red. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, as you can see, five strings. Not in tune, of course. I will tune that, and it already sounds good, actually. And looking at the strings, they look to be professional. Professional sound. That's good. So, um, this, this uh, seller, Mr. Song, he makes his violins um, out of um, a spruce wood, which is a good sounding wood. He said it's, a, it's aged about 15 years. I don't know if I believe that. But anyways, terrific job on this violin. So I'm just going to lay it down. We'll go ahead and look at it. So this is it. I have the entire violin here. Yep, here it is in all of its glory. Five strings there. Really nice. I can't wait to start playing this thing. So you can see the ridges again. That goes around, it's really nice. Amazing. And the fingerboard is a little uh, bigger than normal because it, of course, five strings now. The horse. So as you can see, it's uh, three pegs on one side and two on the other. This, this one right here must be the C. And the stripe on the, on the horse. That's awesome. All right, and here's the back. Very nice. It's so dark. Uh, in the picture, it looked much uh, redder. But I, I'm okay with it. It's really nice. Beautiful work. All polished and ready to go. And I love the detail of the back of the horse head. All the hair. Perfect. So that's it. That is the my new uh, Baroque violin that I wanted to show you guys. It's from eBay. Um, I'll post a, a link down below to the seller's website on eBay so then you guys can check out his other instruments. He sells a couple just like this one, but they're not this color. They're a little different, and um, the squirrel's a little different. And most of them don't have the five string. This one was was really nice. I it, This one was a steal. He was selling it for like 700 and I was able to get him down to like three, so very happy about that. The only uh, downside, I would have to say, is this peg back here. I don't, I don't know if it's a bad thing, but... Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe sideways. Uh, you can't see it. But anyways, uh, the peg is actually bent. It's bent upwards a little bit. I don't know if that's going to change anything. It can change the overall pitch of the strings. Uh, if that were to ever, ever come out, that's not going to be a good thing. I'm hoping it's either glued in place or it's just bent. I'm not sure. But overall, I'm very satisfied with this violin. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. This is Bonzo Record 1. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Alright, thanks for watching.